He hey, but this. what's up with this? <gasps> Dear, they invented a new battery. What? What do you mean a new battery? Made yeah. out of what? Diamond and nuclear fusion. Fission? Fission. Charge bright like a diamond. Uh, <laughs> it's a nucle- nuclear-powered diamond battery. And remember when we were talking about the electric car? I'm like, why are they hey, they made a battery that just lasts forever? Yeah. Well, apparently this battery can last over 5,000 years, <laughs> producing power. Is this finally going to be a B battery? Mm. Oh. Because we've been holding a spot yeah. for a new battery. B battery. We've got A's. We've got double A's. Triple A's. You can have B A's. batteries. It sounds like you're stuttering. B battery. I'll take a B battery if there was a... B battery. <laughs> I think that's a Dimitri Martin. Joke. It is. Is it? And you kind of look it like was Dimitri in my Martin with the hair. Yes, I do. <laughs> <laughs> um, But this sounds like some ancient technology kind of stuff. So how does it last 5,000 years? And how is that not going made to get Made out of diamonds and nuclear fusion, you said? Is yeah, the guy fission. who made it missing? <laughs> no, it's it was... A, so researchers at the <laughs> University question. of Bristol um, have developed a groundbreaking carbon-14 diamond battery, a power source with a lifespan spanning thousands of years. The battery works by harnessing energy from a radioactive decay of carbon-14 safely encased within a diamond this innovative devi- design uh, ensures continuous reliable and safe power generation with applications ranging from healthcare to aerospace the sustainable energy solution has the potential to revolutionize how we power devices and systems offering a glimpse into the future of energy technology yay wow. that's crazy yeah very cool batteries. i'm scared of nuclear energy they said it's very Dude, safe, like because it's it's encased in a diamond. So they said it it can literally like never get out. That sounds not true. Also, it's a, they said it's a lab grown diamond. Yeah, they that's, do that. That's now. what I was. That's yeah, what I was they're lab grown diamonds now. They're doing that. Do you see who's who the naysayers are on this? Duracell, <laughs> Bill Gates, <laughs> World Economic Forum, horses. Ah, who's that? Fauci. No, that's a uh, Klaus. It says the industry's holy grail is what's known as green hydrogen, the climate neutral process that uses the renewable sources to do that. But according to the World Economic Forum, only 0.1% of all hydrogen production can be described by this verdant hue because it requires too much renewable energy to create it. Mm. Somehow hydrogen is involved in that process. Lame. My brother just told me this morning a horror story about nuclear energy and now I don't want, I'm not interested. Share. Yeah, share. I don't want to talk about it. It's so scary. All right, I'll tell you. <laughs> Where do you think we are? I, <laughs> We're on a podcast. I This guy, I don't know the names. I, like He just like just diarrheaed this story at me. It scared me yeah. so bad. This guy was like working on a nuclear power plant. Mm-hmm. And his manager's like, you got to go pour this substance into the reactor. It's a very famous story, apparently. When he did that, he and three other guys... Uh, these atoms visibly collided in the room blue light immediately and even the guy standing outside was affected outside of the thing the manager that he used a term that i'm i don't know it's like a something like i'll come up with a word spaghetti (laughs) you're only supposed to get one spaghetti's worth of nuclear exposure in 10 years it's 10 it, one is worth 10 years of nuclear spaghetti. spaghetti got it this guy standing over the top got two like 200 years worth of spaghetti and like gonna die right but for some reason they really wanted to like try to keep this guy alive and like artificially so they like gave him like they basically changed out all of his organs for like artificial organs and they had like a machine pumping blood what? manually they keep kept him alive for 83 days his skin his organs weren't working. At day like <laughs> at day like fifty, he dies for four hours, but they resuscitate him to just prolong his life. It's so like inhumane. Hey, he that could he could come back, <laughs> get bounced back. And then he died. That's a spicy meatball. <laughs> oh, dude, two hundred years of spaghetti. <laughs> Sign me up. I'm so full. Oh. Too much spaghetti. <laughs> 
Thank you for using spaghetti because that's the only funny part of that whole spaghetti story. definitely made the story a lot more palatable this Christmas season. We all know you can't eat 200 years worth of spaghetti in one sitting. It'll kill you. One, I hope Russia doesn't drop a spaghetti bomb on top of us. One serious doctor looks at another. His spaghetti levels are off the chart. <laughs> You're not. I love how you said like I'm gonna come him. up with a word. That's not even a word you come up with. You had a, that. You have to come up with it. You had word. spaghetti really <laughs> up in the chamber. Too. You didn't even say I'll, I gotta come up with something. Spaghetti. Uh, <laughs> you were looking for a reason to say spaghetti. <laughs> Someone gave her a, a word. She's like, "Hey, work this in somehow." Okay, I'll guess. I don't know how I'm gonna do it. <laughs> spaghetti. Horrified. I. Uh, what would be nice. With I would I would want one of these new batteries for my remote for my TV. Yeah, you know what True. I mean. I'm trying to think of what I would want to like never run out. And my kids' toys and stuff that would be a problem. I'd mm-hmm. probably still be using. Is this new battery what's been powering the Energizer Bunny? Oh, very interesting. This whole it never time never dies, right? Energizer had this technology and they were keeping it from us. They, w- I think, I think you're onto something. That's how that bunny gets around. <laughs> <laughs> that bunny. That dang bunny. Okay, this is a picture of it, though. Uh, someone's like, that's not a diamond battery. That's a Tesseract. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> that is a Tesseract. <laughs> is that dang crazy? It. Someone called Tony. From uh, Avengers. Oh, Marvel. you are so silly. Stop. Listen, spaghetti. <laughs> All the words in the world. Spaghetti. Do you know the guy's name in that story? I just looked it up. No, what are you doing? He's a Japanese guy. Hisachi. Yes. His last name is Ouchie. Yeah. Hey. That makes sense. <laughs> that's... <laughs> Somebody made the joke, <laughs> Mr. Ouchy. O u c h i. Somebody. Doctor made walking into the that Hello, awful Mr. joke. <laughs> Ouchy. <laughs> Look at that. Do you remember? Do you <laughs> He's like, I'm, I'm so sorry. What I is up with us it. roasting radiation people? I don't know. It's always been those. Th- there was a microwave <laughs> guy. Uh, <laughs> oh boy. Oh boy. Mr. Ouchy. This is a water whip, radiation. Whip, whip whip I radiation. feel your pain, Mr. Ouchy. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Do you remember the news anchor when they <laughs> they had they reported on it seriously of that plane that crashed? Yeah, the fake like, names. <laughs> yeah, yeah no. we can't even say <laughs> No. The, uh, I can't even remember what was what Sung oh, Ting Wong. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Terrible. But and they the, said the, it the, seriously. The, I know, but the second one, we need to play the clip because it's crazy. But it, we, the last one's inappropriate. But the second uh. one was, was we do love. <laughs> It's, it's like, awful. It's awful. Clip. It's so bad. But it's like, how does that get a pr- passed yeah. on? For you- some reason, <laughs> though, those... Because the other one that gets me is the Peloton instructors. Have you ever seen them? Oh, yeah. They're That's in the middle great. of a ride and they'll read some like, hey, congratulations. This is, this is we're talking fourth grade <laughs> level yeah. humor. Yeah. And if you can pull it off on that scale where the Peloton, all right, 15th, 100 ride for Seymour Butt. <laughs> <laughs> you got me. Well, oh. It's best when they don't even realize they said it, too. They don't. <laughs> they just move right past it. So you're the doctor. You walk into a room with a Japanese patient, and you're not going to read that name. How do you pronounce that name with a Japanese accent? I'm just going to bow and just going <laughs> to start poking needles and stuff. Say, so where is it, ouchie? <laughs> right here. No, I know, but where? <laughs> ouchie? <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> Poke his toe and stuff. <laughs> ouchie. <laughs> Yes. Interesting. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> it goes back to the clip. <laughs> Guys, he's ouchy everywhere. Back to Lily's original point of not trusting nuclear energy. I've just always thought about this is like you think about look at us. First of all, look at us. Look at us. Second of all, like what's the worst thing that can happen at your job? You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, what is the worst day of work? And there are other jobs where it's not great. But if you work at a nuclear power plant, <laughs> your worst, like, your range is is very wide. Yeah. <laughs> as to, like, what a bad day at work could be. I know. Be. Yeah, know. like, my desk drawer is always, like, you know, like, holding up and I got to <laughs> dig This is what I'm saying. Or I could literally be Mr. Ouchie. <laughs> <with 80 laughs> three days in the hospital. The version of this where I'm doing a mundane task yeah. and things go horribly wrong forever. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, I'm not keen on the nuclear power plants either. It's I'm I'm spooked. You know they say podcasting is actually the um, most dangerous job in America? <laughs> I've actually heard that. Yeah. 
Hi, I'm Mike yeah. Rowe at Dirty Jobs. Yeah. So everyone, if you could thank us for our service, <laughs> yeah, I'd really appreciate it, bro. I just looked up; they have photos. I don't want to see. <laughs> One second. I have to take this call. Me too. Hey, Kels, uh, we're on the pod. I love you. Okay. Well, speaking of taking phone calls, we gotta not don't go anywhere. Ninjas are butterflies. <laughs> <laughs>